Hello everyone and welcome to few incredible facts Kutch part 4. If you haven't checked out the previous parts, the link is in the description. And now let's begin. Anjar. Anjar is a town in the Kutch district. It is a town of historic importance located in the southern direction of Kutch around 40 kilometers away from one of the biggest ports in India, Kandla port. Founded in around 650 AD, it is claimed that Anjar is the oldest town in the Kutch district. The history of Anjar tells us that a group of early settlers led by warrior Ajay Pal Chauhan, also called Ajay Pal, brother of the king of Ajmer, arrived and settled there around 650 AD. Gradually, the settlement flourished and became a center of trade and commerce. Due to its prosperity and wealth, it was often the target of invasion by clan warriors. The founder of the settlement turned ruler of the town, Ajay Pal, dedicated his life to protecting the town. It is believed that he established the first coastal security center in Kutch somewhere near Anjar. Ajay Pal died from a wound he sustained while fighting the Khalifas in 685 AD. Due to his efforts to protect the town and surrounding area from invaders and his selfless sacrifice he is worshiped as a saint and his tomb is located on the outskirts of the town The Chauhans eventually lost power in Anjar at different points in history the town was ruled by the Chauhan Cholukya Waghela and Chauda dynasties and lastly the Jadeja dynasty who gained control of the entire region of Kutch The town was declared the capital of the kingdom of Kutch in 1545 by King Hingaraj I and was fortified by Deshalji II early in the 18th century. The fort wall was 16 feet high and 6 feet thick. The town served as the capital of the Kutch until Bhuj became the permanent capital city of the region. Anjar then served as the second largest settlement in the region and was pushed to the third rank after the rise of the Kandla port and nearby Gandhidham city which serves as the powerhouse of the regional economy at present. Temples of Anjar The Madhavrai temple belonging to Vaishnav sect is 67 feet by 64 feet and has a dome hall and black and white marble floor. The shrine doors are also plated with silver bearing an inscription dated 1812 AD. Some of the eight pillars that support the dome are carved with mermaids and naga figures. Mohanrai's temple, smaller and plainer, with a neatly carved wooden door is also a Vaishnav sect shrine. The idols being Krishna with Radha on the left and Chaturbhuj, the four-armed Vishnu on the right. The temple was rebuilt between 1814 and 1824. Amba Mata's temple and the monastery close by were built of remains of older temples. The adjoining monastery belongs to Ajaypal. Ajaypal's shrine outside the town walls is a small modern dome room with the images of Ajaypal on horseback and of Lord Ganpati. At the door is an inscription dated 1842. The Atiths are Shiv, the sacred bull with brass horns holding a prominent place on the platform at the entrance of the shrine Kaliya Mahadev's temple outside the walls is comparatively modern with the dancing yogini as its goddess Vankal Mata's temple to the northwest of the town is dedicated to a form of Bhavani Bhareshwar at some distance to the southeast has an old shrine and a modern hall To the west of the town is the temple of Dwarka Nath and close to it an unfinished one to Bahuchar Mata with three shrines on as many sides of the entrance hall. On the outskirts of the town is the ancient Hindu temple of Shiva namely Bhadeshwar Mahadev temple. Also there is Swami Narayan's temple located on the outskirts of the old fortress on the eastern side of the town. Swami Narayan sect is a relatively modern sect in Hinduism established by Ramanand Swami, the guru of Swami Narayan Dev in the 19th century. It is believed that Swami Narayan Dev visited Anjar during his lifetime and a temple was constructed at the place where he stayed. Shrines of Jaisal Toral. To the east of Ajaypal's monastery are the tombs of Jaisal, a Jadeja, an outlaw and Turi or Toral, a Kathi spiritual woman. The temple is locally known as Jaisal Toral Ni Samadhi which literally means the tomb of Jaisal and Toral. This shrine at Anjar is under the charge of the Ajaypal monastery. 
Jaisal Toral is a legendary story in Kutch and it goes somewhat like this. Bitten by Toral's beauty, Jaisal an outlaw wanted to marry Toral by force. But Toral spiritually inclined and not wanting to get married convinced Jaisal to take the spiritual path. After their death, their tomb was constructed side by side. Gandhi Dham Gandhi Dham initially known as Sardar Kanj is a developed largest and most populous city in Kutch district. It was created in the early 1950s for the resettlement of Sindhi Hindu refugees from Sindh in the aftermath of the partition of India. It was named after Mahatma Gandhi. An economic capital of Kutch and a fast developing region, it is Gujarat's eighth most populous city. It is a popular destination for conventions, business and meetings. Soon after the partition of India in 1947, a large group of Hindu refugees from Sindh migrated to India. The Maharaja of Kutch, His Highness Maharaj Sri Vijayarajji Khingarji Jadeja, donated 15,000 acres of land to Bhai Pratap, who founded the Sindhu Resettlement Corporation Limited (SRC) to rehabilitate Sindhi Hindus that migrated from Sindh, and this is how Gandhi Dam was founded. Adipur and Gandhi Dam townships are the twin townships in the district of Kutch. Distance between t- twin townships of Adipur and Gandhi Dam is approximately six kilometers. Gandhi Dam is connected by road, rail, and flight to the rest of India. Transport Nagar on the outskirts of Gandhi Dam is the hub of all major transport activity. Kandla Airport is a small airport on outskirts of Gandhi Dam near Galpada town connecting Kutch with major cities of India. Lakhpat Another ancient town of Kutch is Lakhpat located at the mouth of Kori Creek and surrounded by ancient 18th century fort walls. Lakhpat is named after Rao Lakha who ruled Sindh during the 13th century. Historically, Lakhpat has been a very important trading post connecting Gujarat to Sindh. The waters of the Sindhu River used to flow into Lakhpat and further onto Desalpar Gunfli. Let's see a few interesting places in Lakhpat. Fort The fort, rebuilt and expanded in 1801 by Fateh Muhammad, is an irregular polygon shape defended by round towers and built of hard brown stone. The 7 km long walls are of considerable height. Gurudwara Guru Nanak Darbar 500 years old Gurudwara, part of World Heritage Sites. BSF Post The seaward side of the fort is guarded by Border Security Force of Indian soldiers as it is very near from the international border between India and Pakistan, marked in salt marshland. There are BSF guards posted on the fort's fortifications and the nearby border outpost. The incredible fact is that a film, Refugee, in year 2000, directed by J.P. Datta, featured Lakhpat Fort as a fictitious town located across the international border in neighbouring Pakistan. So these were a few incredible facts about Kutch, part 4. If you like this video, then hit the like button and share it. Also consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, take care and stay curious.